Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hit space weather, the hurricane about to hit Louisiana, an interesting galactic center, major human events during the Lachamp magnetic pole shift, and stellar super flares. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star where it was a fairly quiet day. There was very little flaring activity. Solar wind at Earth took only minor enhancements. As we saw in our evening video yesterday, the Halo CME is indeed headed for Earth likely to arrive in another day and a half to two days. And while we will continue monitoring these sunspots, the flare risk is slightly reduced today. Magnetic complexity is moderate only, and the bigger spots are beginning to turn out of view. On the heels of the CME we expect to arrive on Friday, we'll also be keeping eyes open for a coronal hole stream. The big coronal holes here are found north and south. There's a very good chance they enhance the solar wind this weekend. Folks, Hurricane Francine is about to impact the Gulf Coast. The good news is that upper-level shear is beginning to create disorganization, but the storm surge and flood risks remain. Best of luck tonight as the storm roars ashore. Let's go next to an active galactic nucleus. The central engines of galaxies are pretty fantastic, except they just found a galaxy that actually has two of them. Data are indicating that two of these powerful cores are sitting only 300 light years apart in this galaxy. They do expect an eventual merger. Up next, we come to an interesting study on human migrations in Europe, finding that the biggest movements and population dynamic changes occurred during and in the wake of the old Le Champ event. As is expected, changing environmental conditions during the geomagnetic excursion drove location changes of the major human populations of the time. Lastly, on the article front, this one described the extreme radiation production from small star super flares. Veteran watchers should remember that red dwarf stars are powerfully magnetic and produce a large fraction of the super flaring in the galaxy. If the sun were as violently active as some of them, the Earth would not be habitable. Folks, two big events coming up at Observer Ranch. First, in about nine days, the Founders Weekend events will take place. It's going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Event tickets are listed in the link below, or go to ObserverRanch.com to book your stay at the campground. Also, October 19th, as many of you have heard, the rest of the Observer Ranch team insists on reminding me I'll be 40 years old. So, Founders Weekend is in nine days. My birthday event is in about five weeks. Both event pages are listed below. And don't forget, I am out at the ranch every week. Next time will be on Sunday. And we'd love to see you out there. I hope you can come to one of those events or even for a quick visit some other time. Links are below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.